All right, guys, so I'm in Amsterdam with, guess who? Hello. And she is mad cold. I'm cold. <laughs> she's I'm wearing even, like. Should I go and close my jacket? She's wearing layers on layers. And I am just walking around here with a t shirt and. Uh... I was even surprised, <laughs> like, hello, aren't you coming just straight from Ghana? Yeah, no. It should no. be very cold. Like, my body still hasn't adjusted. And I'm aching to come. Back. Yeah. But for me, it's all right. So we're going to be walking around and uh, doing a bit of you said, touristy stuff yeah. today in Amsterdam. So I'll oh, share with you. I thought this would be your first time, so I would show you. No. He, he's, he's like, he's a regular. He yeah. doesn't need to see it. <laughs> so we'll let you know how our day goes and uh, share with you guys later. Anna. Hello, hello. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not very nice right now and it's cold well it is cold it is rainy. rainy it's gray there's no sunshine yes and we're sitting outside just holding off the rain for a little bit hello, hello. 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 um i'd like to have a tea a cup of tea yes mint tea not mint regular tea yeah no, normal tea yeah. yeah i don't know yet okay i'll yeah. have a tea thank you yeah. all right so yeah, um some drink menu. Ah good. Thank you. You need this one. Yeah. Yeah. So why 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 don't you why aren't you vaccinated again? Okay, so the thing is why? It's a very good question, why? My thing is that because of this whole pandemic, I'm not saying the pandemic is not real. Yeah. I've had COVID and it, it was serious. Like Kevin couldn't walk up and down the stairs. I had to help him. Like I only couldn't smell or yeah. taste anything. That yeah. You could have given me poo and I could have eaten it Ooh. and I wouldn't know. Like it yeah. was so weird. Not bad, yeah. It was so weird. But other than that, it was like having the flu and I got over it. So I'm thinking my body already has like antibodies, right? The second thing is- But is that the case though? I don't know yet, to be honest. Exactly. I don't know. Uh -huh. But my thing is, I'm just scared. Oh, Thank wow, you. Um, I have a little... Okay, one moment, together. please. Yeah. Um, the thing is that I'm just scared. And I feel like this vaccination has not been tested enough for me to say that, okay, I want to be part of it. And then the other part is that I feel like the, the reinforcement or the... the the way they are forcing the vaccine, I, I I don't know. Is it really still about COVID? That is what I'm thinking. So, I but for example, like, yeah. um, where we are now, yeah. let me flip this. Where we are now, we're sitting outside, yeah. and it's okay when you're sitting outside and nobody actually bothers you. Yeah. But as soon as you try to go inside, they ask for your QR code. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. So how how do you move around? I don't. I stay in the house. I just feel like that is wrong. I feel like it is discriminating against yeah. people. Yeah. And I feel like everybody should have their own freedom of choice. And especially in the Netherlands, this is a country where I think freedom of choice, freedom of expression, freedom of almost anything is like in our... Um, how do you say that? In our ground law? Is yeah. that the word? Uh, I don't know if that's the word, but yeah, it's... It's, it's yeah. in the law, so everybody should have freedom of choice. And I feel like right now, I'm not really getting freedom of choice because they're like trying to make sure that I'm going to be vaccinated because... But what about the angle, of for example, of um, having herd immunity, whereby if we are all safe, yeah, yeah. it's better. Because if you're not vaccinated, yeah. if you get it, chances are you spread it faster. Yeah. So, so what I about really that? feel like if you are sick, you should stay in your house and you don't go to people. Because I would never want to have that on me that I'm going to give COVID to somebody else. Yeah. Because I might be strong enough to be resistant to it or I could get over it, but somebody might die. So that one, I, I take it very seriously. If I don't feel good, I stay in the house, I cancel my appointment. But as for the vaccine, I just don't think that right now I should take it. I think it should be like maybe a year or two before because so you are one of those people who want to check whether there will be big side effects yes and i've had like there a friend of mine her sister was a very normal person she was working in a 
like how do you say that healthcare yeah. so she was like helping elderly people and she yeah. felt okay she needs to take the vaccination as soon as it was available so she yeah. took it and right now the half of her body is uh, paralyzed and i feel like what was it related to the vaccine they still don't know yet so it could it could have been just something coincidental a healthy person working with elderly people and when she gets the vaccination all of a sudden she's paralyzed after that it started with just her face and the doctor said that oh after a week it, it will go down maybe it's maybe you're allergic to some, something in the vaccine but up to now i think it's six or eight months already and she's still in her bed she can't really move she needs to get like physical therapy people need to massage her because she's like on the bed is she getting insurance for this yes yes in holland the, the thing is really well but yeah. her projection is maybe that she needs to be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life and i'm not saying that because of covid but it's a very scary big coincidence that yeah. after the vaccination a healthy young girl all of a sudden got so sick so happy okay I've, I've i've not visited her yet but having just know that somebody inside my circle has had that i just i just don't think it's my time to take it okay all right guys so we're gonna drink our tea hopefully it stops raining soon and uh, we'll take more walks around the city and share our time together discovering anna's amsterdam <laughs> yeah. I'll be asking her if she misses Ghana and what she misses, but that'll be in a little bit, so stick around. Alright guys, so uh, I don't know what the name of the bridge is, but the sun came out for like uh, a few minutes. <laughs> and we're using the sun to get all we can before we lose it. Yeah. I don't know if my eyes was even working because you seem a bit blown now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. And I'm so white, I'm not that white. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we're trying to get a bit uh, exposure. before we lose the lights. Yeah. We are. Uh, we walk through. No, red light. No, not yeah, yet. Right we're going past the red light district. Sorry, Lane. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, a little bit more of the walk. It's been raining, so the sun was a good uh, addition. And then yeah. We'll just catch you guys at the end of yeah, the video. Yeah, we passed through the red light district. And yeah. Anna has the story. Mm -hmm. you want to tell them? So I said that I don't think that, okay, we passed a daycare, right? That's where the story started. Yeah. And I don't feel like daycare is an appropriate place within the red light district. I would not expose my kids to that. But then I said, wait a minute. One time I brought Sophie in this neighborhood because my brother was having a, a, a party. Here. Yeah. And then we were walking and she said that uh, she was looking at the, the ladies in because you see a lady and she's wearing a bikini and she's in a red red light around her right and she's behind the glass yeah so sophie was saying oh my god mommy look at the barbies i want to be one when i grow up <laughs> like what and I almost like what do you tell your child and i said oh yes baby of course you can be a barbie Wait. but not now <laughs> oh not now <laughs> <laughs> that's what i said not now you're too young. It's for old women. Because I didn't want to explain to her that this is prostitutes. Like, what are you going to tell your four-year-old yeah. child? So I said, sure, you can be a Barbie. So I think now she's nine. She haven't come up with it yet. But I think when she's around maybe 11, 12, I'll take her back here again and explain, explain to her, to her what, what exactly it is. Yeah. And that she shouldn't aspire to be a Barbie. At all. <laughs> At all. Right. Okay. Oh, that's life in Amsterdam. Yep. I'm gonna leave and uh, go home now before I get in trouble, which I think I already am. <laughs> no, you but, won't. But uh, it was nice hanging out with Anna, and okay, see you. I hope you guys enjoy the time with us. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.